Hello everyone! In this video I want to give you a little overview of my new book How to Break Your Identification with Emotional Trauma. When I first created this book was with two reasons. One of them was for those who haven't really experienced yet any of the methods that I explain in my book The Power of the Elevation of Consciousness. Here I have 19 different healing methods and ways of experiencing awareness that helps you restructure your perception of identity and how that changes uh, a lot of different psychosomatic patterns in you. And um, I know there is a need out there in the world for people to have fast ways of experiencing healing. So I put together this book that is really thin. It's only 50 pages. It really is mostly um, guided um, exercise for you to learn tools and how to experience the state of awareness. And, and my second motive to creating this book was for all those who had already read my first book to also have a deeper experience of the state of awareness because um, I believe that we all have to experience certain concepts, not really learn them. Because we don't really learn by only memorizing things. That's just uh, something that stays somewhere in our, in our cognitive process. But um, to really experience change and healing, we have to assimilate what we're learning. And the best way to do that is that we actually experience what we are reading. So, and that's the magic of books. I don't know if that happens to you, but when I'm reading a book, I am there. You know, I travel to the places where it's happening. I, I feel like I'm in the space and I can feel the energy of the words. I have this connection with words that when I read them, I can feel all these different emotions and I love books. But, and each one of these books that I write have practical exercises. I just feel that things that um, or concepts or ideas don't really have uh, any meaning if we can't use them for something. And this is only one of the practical applications on how to use the concepts of the power of the elevation of consciousness and how to experience restructuring after um, arriving to the state of awareness, which basically means that we are aware of ourselves. What are we aware of when we are in the state of awareness? We're aware of our original persona, the original idea of creation, which I explained before, that precedes the formation of any personality or any other sort of identification with circumstances, emotions, thoughts, and ideas. The book is divided in three parts. Um, the first part is identification of the original persona. Who am I? I need to identify it. I haven't identified it because right now I manage other identities based on my circumstances, roles, emotions, ideas, and thoughts. So how do I find it? So the first part is about finding that awareness. How do I get there? So I heal myself from that identity. The identity of personality, of circumstances, of things that are temporary by experiencing awareness. And at first it's an abstract idea because we don't really know certainly how it really feels to be ourselves because we already have another idea about who I am. And uh, this idea is what is preventing me from actually being myself. We think that we know very well because of our circumstances and things that we know who we are, but we are wrong. We don't really know who we are until we can experience awareness. And uh, I tell you what, uh, the first times that you really experience awareness, you're going to feel a complete um, different perspective on things. You're going to feel physically different because uh, it really brings you more oxygen. Somehow um, your neurotransmitters change. There is a different chemistry that starts happening in your brain. It's a total restructuring. And this could happen in seconds or it could happen uh, in periods of time depending how you function because I always talk about three ways of creating patterns either using intensity or frequency and time so if you're a person that is intense and you can experience awareness in an intense way then you could experience a change within minutes of staying in a state of awareness but the difficult part is not only reaching the state of awareness but staying there and for that I always say that we need to do some things prior to meditating, prior in just changing our lifestyle altogether if we want to really experience awareness throughout. And um, these things are usually start with our diet. What we eat prevents us from reaching the, the brain waves that we need to experience awareness. Many foods that we eat are addictive and these addictive foods don't allow us to experience awareness. It's impossible for us to reach that brain wave where we find total balance if our food is causing all this um, hyperactivity in our brain. So the first part 
of the book is about identifying the original persona. How does it feel to be me? So for the first three, four exercises, we're creating this um, awareness. How do I get there? Different techniques to get there. The second part is creating familiarity. I, I really want to be able to identify my original persona and the things that I do, say, and feel to make sure that I'm expressing myself in the most um, pure way, which I am really expressing myself through my original persona. And I'm not just being um, someone that is uh, talking from circumstances or from emotions or from stored memories, but I'm really expressing myself through my real self. And uh, how does it feel? So there is a series of exercises in the next three, four days in which we experience different uh, emotions, words, feelings, visions, things that remind us of ourselves. And uh, then I ask you to write them down and we use these elements that we have collected from your experience when you, have, when you were in a meditative state. And um, we use that list of elements to then continue creating familiarity. And the next part, the last part of the 10-day exercise, because this is a 10-day program in which you're creating a pattern in your brain, we're changing your wiring towards more awareness of yourself. In the last part, we're talking about embodying the original persona. Okay, so you have found it. You know how it feels. You develop familiarity. Now, how can you embody it and completely be that persona that is you and disconnect from all the patterns of behavior, thought, ideas, and everything else, even physical patterns that right now could be saying that you are someone else. Because remember, when we go through emotional trauma, there is a crystallization a crystallization of emotions because we have this release of neurotransmitters and hormones that go through our whole body and the most intense the emotion is the more crystallized it gets in our body and somewhere in your body there is a memory of the emotion that you went through and that starts creating patterns so people that go through anger all the time they keep them in their hearts and then they said they start developing heart failure or people who um, develop uh, or always uh, feel guilty of things and they have uh, breathing problems because they start that's where uh, usually it gets stored so energetically there are emotions that um, are associated to certain organs for some reason that's like some sort of psychosomatic um, matching that happens and i will develop this a little bit more in another opportunity but i just wanted to give you this little overview it is important that you learn the exercises here because you can use them anywhere let's say you are in a situation where um, you're about to give a presentation for for work or somewhere else and you're feeling lack of confidence or, or you're feeling nervous so then you have your breathing exercises here you have your connection words you have your visualization exercise that you can do within seconds in your mind before you start and then you can ba go back to your center and give a more heartfelt speech to your audience or just be more yourself. So there are many things that you really can do with this and I really want you to try it. I think it's gonna be a lovely experience for you. And uh, once you read this, maybe you will want to go ahead and try more exercises. We have 19 here in Soul Restructure in book one. So, well, very good. I just wanted to share that with you and I'm looking forward to your comments and reviews of the book. Please, this will help many other people that um, need tools or ways and they don't know how to heal themselves or how to go about feeling more aware of themselves to prevent all these waves of suicides and all these waves of um, all sorts of emotional imbalances going out there. So be part of the change, share, tell somebody about it you never know who could need it and uh, i thank you and i'll see you soon